All right. So good afternoon once again, everybody. Now I will be working on how to run Facebook and Instagram ads professionally. Yes, this is the part one. In the part two, we'll be talking about how to boost posts. That is also running Facebook ads and Instagram ads, but that's just like another method, a short form. But I really won't be working on that right now. So we'll be working on the art manager, the professional way, the professional method, yes, which enables you to get more conversion and be able to narrow down to what you want to get, to the results you want to get at the end of the day. So now this is, I call this my kitchen. Yes, it can sound local. Yes, it can sound local, but I call this my what kitchen. Yes. Now, we all know what kitchen um, implies. When you say the word kitchen or the word kitchen, you know what it means. That implies um, where you prepare, where food are being prepared, right? Then after being prepared, you serve it down to the dining table or wherever you want to, you know, you want to just uh, get the food to and, you know, digest it at the end of the day, yeah, or consume it at the end of the day. So that is, I love using that illustration. Yes, I really love using that illustration because it's one of the simplest way to get it right. So, but I'm gonna show you how I got here. So let's go back to the blue app. Yeah, you can see on the normal Facebook, we all are familiar with the icon color is what? Blue, you can see the icon color is blue, right? Yes, and the icon color for this, which is also Facebook, but the hard aspect, the icon color is black. Yes, it is black. So this is where we'll get to. And um, you come to your normal home feed or your personal feed. Okay. You can see this, right? This is my normal personal feed. Yes, this is my normal personal feed. Okay, okay. Now, can you see this is my feed, personal um, feed, just like I said. Yes, yes. So, but we are actually dealing with the business aspect here. And what we'll be doing this afternoon or today, we'll be running ads, how to run ads. Unfortunately, I have um, something to work on. So I'll be using that as a live project. That's why I said we have a live the live project to work on today. Yes. So what I'm just going to do is, you know, I showed you when we want to create a page. When we want to create a page, I showed you on the left hand side of the screen here, you can see the menus, right? And you can come down to your pages here, right? Or you have this menu icon here. You click on this, then you can what? You can just scroll down and look at what you need. Can you see? Maybe you want to create a page. Maybe you want to create an advert. Can you see this? You want to create an advert, which we'll be doing now. But I won't be going through these processes or this process. I'm just going to bring my mouse over down here and right click on this. Can you see ads? I right click on this. Once I right click on this, you say what? Open link in new tab. Yes, open link in new tab. Mm -hmm. There's something I need to let you know. If you want to um, create an advert, ensure you, if you want to create a professional advert, ensure you are doing it from your system. Yes. Ensure you are doing it for your system on from your system. So you have you know the conveniency to over on your screen on via your phone. That is if I mean on your system rather. But if you are using your phone, you'll be limited to some things. Yes, you'll be limited to some things. So this is why, or this is part of the reason why um you must put yourself down to understand how to use this and how to run ads from your system using the professional way, okay? You can see I'm currently running an ad. I'm currently running an ad for one of my clients in Ghana. You can see this, right? Okay, so 
but this is not where we are supposed to come down to. We are supposed to come down to this place. So at times it can it might not you know bring you here direct it might not bring you here directly. Yes, at times it might not bring you here directly. So what you can just do is you have to put this URL on your head, Facebook, Facebook.com slash ads manager slash manage. Do you all understand this? Then you enter. Can you see? So it is going to bring you down to this place. It's going to bring you down to this place. Yes, it's really going to bring you down here. So let's hold on for it to load up. Can you see? Welcome, loading your ad account, launching ads manager. Yes, it is going to bring you right here. Okay. So can you see what I'm saying? And another thing you need to know about Facebook ads manager, it, um, it draws, like it needs a strong connection, strong internet connection, like mm -hmm. a very strong internet connection. Yes. So, and that is why most times if I see my, ad, I want to set up an advert and it is not going well in the afternoon, like the network is bad, the creativity is not there. I'll just decide to, switch the timing of the ad to midnight. So that's I'll set up the advert by midnight, then it can start running around 6 a.m. Yes, that is that's mostly the way that I run my ad. Yes. So you can see, you know how I got here, right? So I use the link facebook.com slash ads manager slash manage. But at times you can easily come down here and just click it. It will take you down to the ads manager, do you get? There's another method. At times also it can take you down there. Let's try this, if it's gonna take us down to ads manager. Can you see it is not taking us to the professional ads manager. Okay, now they they gave us an option and um, a notification here. Can you see my notification down here? Looking for more advanced tools, then click on this place to go to ads manager. Do you understand? So whenever you click on the art icon and it is not taking you to the professional aspect or the advanced aspect, just try and look around your screen. You know, Facebook changes a lot of things on their interface every day, every blessed day. So you have to make sure you're calm to look around your screen and see what you can do or what has come up new. Do you understand? So. I think we all get that clear. Yeah, let's get back to let's get back to page. So now we are on this. Now we are on this. So when we are talking about art manager, I said something the other time. I call it my what my kitchen. I call it my what kitchen. Yes, that is what I call it. So, because this is where everything is being cooked. Everything that is served on the blue, on the blue page here, is being cooked from this end. We all understand. It's being cooked from the what? From the back end, which is the black Facebook at the heart manager. Okay. So these are records of the ads I have run. These are some of our ads records. So I have more than one other account though, but as time goes on, you know more about that. Yes, the had account. I have more than one other account. I have up to three. Yes, I have three ads accounts. So the ads account represents where it's in the places you can run your ad, where you can set up the ads. You will understand. So also you can see some things here you can see campaign you can see the ad sets you can see the ad section you can see the ad section yes there are three stages in running ads there are three stages in running ads once you set up your ad 
you must pass through three stages to complete setting up an advert before it could be what approved before it could go into review and even approved you understand i will be passing through those three stages while setting up an advert now and um before we do that i need to explain one or two things yes which we must understand we must get it right you can see these three lines that comes up as what all tools. I'm going to click it. There's something called, we are currently on, you know, this is a full menu now. I, while I, when I click on this icon to here. So this brought out a full menu. We are currently on art manager. There's something that's, that is called event manager. There's business settings, there's account quality. There's ad account settings, there's brand safety. From there, we still have some other ones here. We still have some other things here, but we can't finish all today. We can't even finish learning everything in three, four months. Yes, I can tell you. But the major thing is setting up your heart, know how to manage it, control it, and also know how to fund your account. That's fund the ad account so that Facebook can charge, can um can charge you for the ad. All right, so um okay, so let's just you can see the green button coming up here, right? You can see the green button coming up here. This is where you click to create your account. I mean, to create the heart. This is where you click to create the heart. And you can see, you have a dialog box that comes up with the objectives, different objectives, add objectives that we are having. Different ad objective. So you can click this. You can click any of the objectives right here. Maybe traffic, engagement, app installs, video views, lead generation messages. Then under conversion also, we have conversions, but you must have a website before you could run any advert on this place. And for awareness, you have brand awareness, you have reach. The brand awareness is just for people or for businesses that just came into the market. You understand? They just came into the market and they, are um, trying to create awareness, let people know that yes, we are new. We also exist. That is why we have brand awareness. Then for rich, rich, rich advert let you let your ad get um, to more people. You understand? For brand awareness, you can have like maybe the rich can be um, maybe one thousand, and the brand awareness those and those one thousand people that saw your advert could see your advert for like two three times so imagine somebody seeing something for the first time the same person seeing that thing again for the second time by the third time you will have recognized that ah no i've seen this person's brand or this person's product before but for rich if you say rich rich will get can get your um your product or services um advert to over millions of people if they have to just be reaching out to people but they won't see the advert more than once. Do you understand? So if you are just starting a business, you need to create awareness. At least I used to advise my students or my clients, even if you are new, you must try to make sure you create a, a brand awareness for like a week. Yes, at least minimum a week. Do you understand that? Yes. Then for traffic, the hard is getting people from Facebook or from Instagram to your website or to your WhatsApp chat or to a landing page or a sales page, wherever you want them to go to from the Facebook. Do you understand? Engagement can be people messaging you on the heart. Maybe they, they can make a comment, they can like, they can share the adverts, then also yeah, make comments. So some can even go down to getting your contact and reaching out to you on WhatsApp. That's engagement. App installs is for app developers. Those um, developers, software developers or mobile app developers 
that develops that come up with applications. So just like WhatsApp now, when I remember vividly when WhatsApp came up, WhatsApp ran a lot like they run they ran Facebook adverts to get people to download the WhatsApp what messenger app. Yes. And I saw that that ad consistently, they ran the ad. In fact, I can't just remember the duration, but I knew that I saw that ad that consistently on Facebook then. Do you get that? So this mobile app installs is for mobile app users that wants to get more user and want to get more people to use their app. Yes. For video views, video views are video adverts is mostly used by celebrities, musicians. Do you understand? Yes, to promote music video, to promote maybe the normal videos we all watch, you know, just to get views, increase your views. Do you understand? Yes, it increases your views. That is that is really, really, really the point. So Lead generation, wow, lead generation is one of the ad objectives I love so much. Yes, I love so much because I don't know maybe because it works for me very well. I know that it works for me like that without putting the other required works. Yes, and com without completing the process. It's because I, you know, I believe in what I'm doing. One, two, I know how to do my follow-up. Yes, I know how to do my follow-up. That is just it. So I make sure I do the process, get the process, follow it, and what make sure I complete it. That is just the rule of an advert. So before even picking an objective now to create an advert, I'm going to show us, I'm going to show us um, something called sales funnel. Yes, called so something called sales funnel. A process you must follow if you are running any advert. Yes, let me quickly say this this video will be splitted today will be a section we might not really be able to create that ad today but i need to explain all these things so you get them right okay so and um what's it called um tomorrow we are definitely going to have a class we are you know we are not supposed to have a class tomorrow but we will have a class so that we can you know meet up with our calendar but most likely the class could be in the evening I just had to keep that in and we'll get back to that later. So lead generation is used to get people's contact, people's information. Yes, like the name, the phone number, the email, then also address if you want to. So the three information I used to request is just the name, the email, and the phone number. Yes, that's all, those three things. Do we understand? Those three things are the things I used to request for because those are the major things I needed. Now, messages, 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 messages. Are, um, the messages is in, um, in three form or three sections. Yes, under this we have three sections. That's a messenger, Facebook messenger. If you want to run the hard part to for people to just message you on your Facebook messenger alone, or secondly, to message you on WhatsApp. Are you getting me? To message you on WhatsApp. Then thirdly is Instagram direct for people to message you on Instagram only, which tells or which shows that the advert will only be running on Instagram. It will not show on Facebook. I'm sure we are clear with that. I'll be taking questions soon, so you can jot out your question. Yes, I'll be taking questions soon. So um, on the third stage, which is conversion. Conversion, as you can see, conversion, conversion is for people that want to get their product to, um, to be sold. Yes, or to be bought. So like, let me use that. Okay, now I want to run an advert. And I have a website. Remember, we have been using a, um, a brand since the beginning of this project. I brand yes. So I have an e-commerce website for I brand yes. And I want people to just get to the website and buy what I am selling. Conversion 
is also one of the best objectives to use. Do you understand? Or you use catalog sales, or you use store traffic, any of these three, but you can use them without having a website and without installing a pixel on your website. I'm sure we understood this, right? Yes. So this is the explanation for the um, objectives, the various objectives we have in Facebook and Instagram ads. Do you understand? Yes. These are the objectives we have in Facebook and Instagram advert. Because from this place, you can run your advert to show on Instagram alone and not to even show on Facebook. And at the same time, you can run your advert on Facebook not to show on what? Instagram. And also at the same time, you can run your advert to show on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. You know, there are three, three different stages now. Yes. So depending on what you want, your budget, and where you feel you will be getting results. Now, there are, there are some products that don't sell well on Facebook, that sells on Instagram very well. Quote it like, believe it or not, definitely. Because, you know, there's something called marketplace. You must be able to identify your marketplace. Do you get for example is fashion fashion anything that has to do with fashion maybe bag jewelries you know shoes clothes necklace love things anything that has to do with fashion just put them let's put them together that way that's one then two is um catering that's um should i say catering yeah i think catering is a general mm -hmm. word, right mm -hmm. yes Catering like baking, food, um, restaurant, and those things. Those things sells well on IG. There's one last category. Yes, I'm trying to remember. Uh, like training, like training like this for entrepreneurs to get serious business mind, um, serious business minds, and um, serious business owners. Let me use that. Yes. You can easily get more of them also on Instagram that used in in um, in some in some categories anyway, not all categories. Yes, in some categories. Then I think there there are more there are more categories that really works well on um which their marketplace is on Instagram. Don't misquote me, please. It is not that they can run an advert on Facebook or they will not get sales or make sales on Facebook, but Instagram is their major marketplace. Do you understand? Yes. And likewise, Facebook also has, has its own. You know, you know, a lot of people are on Facebook. So I would say you can put out almost everything on Facebook. But before you could get a serious buyer, you then you have to really, really put in the work. Yes, you have to really, really put in the work. Like real estate now, you can't really sell real estate easily please not that you can't sell real estate at all on facebook but you can't really sell real estate easily like that if you are going to sell one real estate you must have generated like maybe 1000 leads or 2000 leads before you could probably see two strong ones that will buy or even one say not even not even two even one at least one serious buyer you must have been able to generate like 2000 leads if it is traffic, you must have been able to generate up to probably 10,000 traffic to your website before you could get like maybe 0.01% conversion. Do you understand what I'm saying? So all these things, you don't just run adverts. Yes, you don't just run adverts. You must think very well before you set up an advert. And something you need to know before setting up an advert is what? Sales funnel, sales funnel, sales funnel, sales funnel. Sales funnel. Please, um, I'm going to round up the class very soon. Yes, and I can join in through my phone to answer our questions. Then we will just come in tomorrow and set the ad. Do you understand? Yes, we just come in tomorrow and set the ad. And we'll conclude the part one there. But I don't want anything like a rushing class so I need to explain these things before I start setting up adverts. So unfortunately, 
I um something happened, so I couldn't use my gen, and there's no power supply for now. Yes, so that's just the major thing. So that's why I like okay, I'll take my time to explain. I'm taking my time to explain this. Do you understand? Yes. So tomorrow we're just gonna go into the ad, set up the ad completely. Yes, we'll be using the generation objective because it's a real life project. Yes, we'll be using the generation objective. So that is that. So now before we go off right here, look at sales page. Can everybody see this? Please just type in the chat box. Yes, or I can see it. Just give me a message in the chat box. So I will know you can see this. I'm waiting. Just give me a message in the chat box, please. Can we see this? Okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can, okay. All right, now there's something about sales funnel, right? Okay, I'm coming. Let me just, I'm going to download this, so I'll share it with us on the group. Okay, there's something about sales funnel. It gives you a guide or process. It gives you what process of, you know, following up the process of getting a sale at the end of the day or having conversion, solid sale at the end of the day. Do you understand? So um I will be sending this, I'll be sending this to um I'll be sending this to the group. I'll be sending this to the group. Yeah, very well. So I'll really explain this now. Come here. I mean I will you stand up, stand up. No, we won't have dinner. I'm sharing my screen now, please. Okay, so I believe we can all see this right now, right? So there's lead generation, sales call, follow up, conversion, conversation, or oh, sorry, conversion, and also sales. Hello, Andy. Yes, sir. Uh, is the noise coming from your side? Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that, please. Sorry about that. Okay. It's distracting. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So um, this is the conversion funnel for maybe lead generation, any objective, but mostly, I think this is really, really representing lead generation. Yes, this funnel is really representing lead generation. So before you could set up an advert, you have to make sure you understand the process. If you are using lead generation, you should know that, okay, you are generating lead. Now, once you generate lead, what next will you do? Will you just leave the leads like that? No, you can't leave the leads like that. Do you understand? You have to maybe use a sales call by calling them. Okay, you have to be doing the work of the customer um, representative there. Or you can you do a message conversion and a message um, follow up by composing a short message, maybe a welcome message. Now, let me use this as an example. You know the mails you received from me. Yes, that is an email marketing follow-up. I did not use throughout this um the leads I generated. I did not use sales, I didn't use message, I use sales call. Yes, my colleague did the sales call, right? So I only use the sales call and the mail after generating the leads. Then at the end of the day, we get to the level of conversion. That's people that are is interested. Do you understand? People that are what interested, and finally, from those that are interested, if you have five people that are interested, finally you can get only what two sales or three sales. Do you understand? So now lead generation gets to points to opportunity, sales call points to connection, the follow-up points to timing. From because when you do a follow-up, you must give them a time frame. Okay, if you are creating an offer between now and now. If you pay now, you get so so offer, or you get this, you get that. So from your follow up, 
once you've proposed what you are selling or the services um, they offer to them, then you can do, you can try to now get conversions. That's people that will be interested or most ready or most likely to buy or join whatever um, service or product you are you know, putting out. So now from there, you'll be able to get your final sales, those that will make payments. Do you understand? Those that will make payment. So these are the funnel, a process you must follow. So you don't just run ads. I'm sure we understand this. We don't just run ads. There are a lot of sales funnel. I can decide to search for brand awareness sales funnel. Brand awareness. Awareness sales funnel. Okay. Okay, now look at brand awareness. Look at brand awareness. Okay. I think I'm seeing another nice one here. Another nice um let's use this. Let's use this. Okay, so you can see customer versus or customer or buyer stage versus brand awareness. It's trying to load up. Okay, now you set up an advert putting out the product or services, making research. From there, you get to the level of making research, right? So that's who is making the research? It is the customer that is making the research trying to make research about, okay, the product or service you're selling, then if the research meets what, the result of the research meets what the customer or buyer is expecting, then he or she is trying, is going to try to consider you or consider buying your product or putting in for your service. I'm sure we are clear with this. Then from there, we'll be making a decision. If the offer is, you know, attractive and the buyer cannot, you know, put the offer aside. Your offer must be very attractive if you are selling anything, but don't over offer. Yes, that is one of the most important things. You don't over offer because by not, you know, what I mean by over offer is promising them, over promising them. Yes, let me use that word. Over promising them what you cannot fulfill when you are saying it out. Yes. So when I put out my offer, together for this program my colleague was like daniel when you want to get 1000 database to give to your prospect or to your student i said ah, 1000 database is not a problem why i have at least I, as i can remember vividly i have 10,000 database and which implies that i will be giving all the students one thousand database do you understand and i now decided that okay after this first stage which is your stage the next student coming in, I'm going to remove that offer because I know that I've exceeded the numbers of database I have. Do you understand me? Yes, I've exceeded the numbers of database I have by splitting it out to you guys. So I won't, I won't want to share the same database to another set of students again, all in the name of creating offer. No, I can instead check out for another offer to replace that or I take that off entirely. Okay, yes, so that is that is sales funnel. So before you set up any advert, you must have a sales funnel. Make sure you write out or design your sales funnel out. Do we all understand this? So I think this is where we'll be putting a stop to the class for today. So let's take a question. So in the next section, which is tomorrow evening, yes, it will definitely be evening, please. Just um, let's bend into that. It will definitely be evening. So we can set out, we can set the advert and we'll be definitely fine with that, I can assure you. But you need to understand this before we do that. If I, I can do without explaining all this and just take you down to the advert, and just set up the advert, but no, it is not done that way. Do you understand? Yes, it, I can't do that. I can't do that. So you must understand these things I have explained. So whenever you want to set out your advert, you will know you will know the objective that is suitable for you or that will work for you. If this is your first time of running an advert, 
take this, put it out, like jot it or not, put it in your mind that you will need to test up to two, three, four different objectives to know the one that works best for you. Do you understand? So, and most likely your sales funnel will also change for you to be able to get the one that works well. Okay, so thank you very much. This will be the end of the class for today. So I can take in question now.